Hey, this is Tay Rose, and you are watching Makeup for Teens. So, this third episode is going to be pretty exciting. First thing is, it's been, I believe, a month, literally, since I've recorded an episode. And the thing is, I was going to promote it on Lemon 8, because I had the whole promo set on deck ready, right? But then tell me why. Because I deleted the footage from my phone. It deleted out of the Lemon 8 app. And I was just like, Ugh, the agony is real. No. I was so sad. But I'm like, you know what? Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. So I think I might set up something else and let people know. I think I might still do like a write, a write-up post on it. I'm not sure as of yet. But if you are from Lemon 8, hi. If not, hi to you too. So that's the first thing. Second thing is this episode, if you haven't seen it already, I'm going to talk about Maybelline. And part of it is me celebrating that I got over 200 views. I think right now it's close to 250 views as we speak. Now I'm talking about me reviewing the Maybelline Sun Kiss Sun Kisser blush, liquid blush. And I had gotten I forget the um shade that's so sad had it not came off i would have been fine but it's like a pink shade i'll talk about it in um, the video and i'll make sure to link it in the cards so that way if you are on youtube and you are watching this video you're able to, you are able to click on it but if you are not on youtube then you just look up the maybelline sun kisser kisser sun kisser blush review demo swatch thoughts i have my notes here and I'm going to tell you from now, like when I was planning out this video, I was at 150 views with that. And then with me recording today, today is September 15th, I'm at close to 250 views. So I am very thankful for those of you who tune in and for those of you who are keeping up with my content. But let me get started, okay? So obviously y'all want to know when I discovered Maybelline. So I would say that I discovered Maybelline when I first began makeup and I began playing around with makeup in sixth grade even though this time around it was just mascara light eyeshadow and lip gloss and i believe my sister put me on to blush as well but i did not wear too much of it it was mainly eyeshadow mascara and lip gloss really and truly eyeshadow and lip products just put all of them together <laughs> yeah okay so that was when i started my makeup journey and that was through maybelline on products which i'll tell you the products that i have used i'm just going to switch gears into it because a lot of this has to do with my starting of makeup and then even me throughout the years of me wearing makeup it has it has played a part in my makeup journey and in my makeup collection until i wore so much that it's like okay Tay, time to throw it out so the products I have used before is the Great Lash Mascara. Back when I was wearing it, it was in the mid 2000s. That was when the Great Lash Mascara was the best. That was the best on the market. And so that was what I wore. I wore that mascara. I remember, I mean a lot of you may be too young to know of this, but Kamorley Simmons, she had the same mascara except she blinged out her mask top and bottom. Except she didn't bling out the part where it said Great Lash Mascara. But she did add Swarovski crystals on it. And it was custom too. So she had it in her bag. And I remember when she wore it, I was like, yes, if Kamora Simmons can wear it, then Kaji going to wear it too. Another product that I have used is the Sky High Mascara. Now, if you haven't heard, Sky High is a dupe. The mascara is a dupe to the... Part of my language ahead of time, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, if you look at Too Faced, it's close to $30 for that mascara versus the Maybelline Sky High. That's like around $10 if I'm to guesstimate it in my head. So if you can get something for a better steal that performs like a high end, if not better, then yeah, go for it. That mask makes your lashes look good. I am currently... I don't want to say currently because I have on lash clusters, but the one that I have now is the blackish brown. 
because I combined that with another mascara and that mess it separates your lashes and it lengthens the lashes as well like I love it also very very much another mascara I wore but I don't wear it anymore is the Big Shot Colossal Mascara this was in my college days like I thought I was doing the thing and that was when I was tired of my oh no I didn't wear lashes yet until my senior year of college but at this time I was like okay I just want big lashes because at this time I was thinking my eyes are going to look like the lashes. Lo and behold, I needed more things to enhance my lashes, right? So I used to wear that and it wasn't bad, okay? It wasn't bad, but if you already have longer lashes, then it would look like how it's supposed to look, okay? This next product is the Holy Grail. Like back when, they, when the YouTubers were rocking it, it's holy grail and i'm happy that they're selling it to this day so y'all can try it i remember trying the maybelline face studio master chrome highlighter and i forgot the shade that i wore but it was like a golden one and i would strobe i mean strobe my face like i'm strobing along my cheekbones i'm strobing along my nose like i was strobe tetris girl like i was strobing all the way to the moon child like like that mess is extremely pigmented it is pigmented so if you are someone that wants that pigmentation from a highlighter get that and i would think i'm not saying this is true or not but i would think that that is very similar to the lord mercy yay because i'm wearing that right now but i mix it in with something else and that does give true pigmentation to the tea okay so but if you want something that's gonna be like blinding get you the face studio master chrome highlighter and i'd even push it far enough to say that it competes about the same as the Anastasia beverly hills highlighters the emery dupe especially because she was all about the strobing back then and reason i'm talking about so now the next product that i tried in the past is the fit me matte and poreless this they had a um foundation and then they had a powder i never tried the foundation i didn't really get into foundation until like my freshman sophomore year of college but i did used to try the powder and i think it was like golden i think golden was the shade that i used to wear and that was really good like it kept my face matte for the most part and it did keep my face looking poreless i mean i have larger pores around the apples of my cheeks around this area but when i applied it on you can never tell you cannot tell that i was wearing that like my face was looking flawless like i would like one day to revisit that just to see if it will perform the same or different i don't know something else that i wore that i used to wear is the maybelline age rewind concealer that was my holy grail i know no one says holy grail but i'm gonna say it because i'm 30. this is the holy grail that age rewind concealer like it actually covers dark circles but i don't wear it anymore because they took away my favorite shade i believe my favorite shade was golden or it was honey i was one of the two well no they have honey now i don't remember the shade but i'm gonna see if i can link an old video of me wearing this so y'all can see how it looked like it was so good and then they took away my shade it's like okay i guess y'all don't want me to wear it like fine fine i don't gotta wear it then i can find other ones like go ahead. <laughs> go ahead i was so mad but no seriously if you have dark circles that will cover up your dark circles with ease and it has a sponge applicator so if you are someone that has a phobia with like the holes or like anything coming out the holes and it may not be for you because you might freak out but if you don't have that fear like you just you um i don't say squeeze it but you twist the top part and then you apply dots and i think that i think maybelline was one of the first makeup brands to say less is more with that product only because there was girls that instead of just use that product as concealer they would go as far as to um use a darker shade as their contour and i think that's how liquid bronzer came to be or liquid contour came to be because girls would use it to apply a desirable amount to the contoured areas and then they would take their beauty blending sponge and they would blend it out and it would look darn good but now since then everyone has liquid 
contour everyone has liquid bronzer um and so on and so forth i don't know if anyone remember um this one but something i've tried before is divino ink matte liquid lipstick i got one shade because at the time it was 2020 it was i was on my mask mode like everybody else but then i tried it i'm thinking okay it's gonna stay on my lips it stays on your lips but i just didn't like it because it's vinyl like it's a shine it's like a i don't say shiny but it's like a it's a non-matte no it is a glossy liquid lipstick so i wasn't fond of that like i wasn't fond of it like i think i threw that out to my declutter because the color is just ugly to me well the color's not ugly but the product when i put it on my lips is ugly to me so i wouldn't wear that again this product i'm currently wearing it is the fit me loose finishing powder so i am in the shade 30 medium deep i remember one time like when i first was introduced to this product and i remember when it was a rave on um, youtube i was in college of course and i wore the medium or i bought it i'm thinking okay i'm a medium shade i can wear it so i put it on but it didn't work for me so i went to medium deep and i can say that medium deep it looks like a medium so if you want something that is for your eyes to act as if it's your actual skin tone you want to go shade above so for an example for me i'm a medium skin tone but i had to go to medium deep just so that way it could look like my actual skin this mess it keeps me mattified all day so i'm around my face is like oily but if you see my eye area there is not a drip of oils like i'm matte all day like i'm matte like this is really 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 good because i'm gonna talk to you about the next product and that is the lifter gloss by maybelline both the plumper and the non-plumping one i have five or maybe four four or five of these lip glosses now when the lifter gloss came out everybody knew exactly what maybelline was duping and that is the fenty beauty back when fenty beauty came out her glosses were like 20 dollars but i think it has gone up to 23 it might have gone up a lot higher now than 20 dollars and so people are like uh-uh i love rihanna but i'm not gonna pay $25 for a lip gloss when I could get something for almost $10 so everybody was buying the lifter gloss and the one good thing with the lifter gloss or two things really one is hydrated and then two with the hydration it has hyaluronic acid and I believe that was one of the first makeup products to have a skincare ingredient in there which we all know hyaluronic acid has it's helpful for hydration keeps your lips hydrated all day every day and i can say with me wearing both the plumping version and me wearing the non-plumping version like the candy collection those gummy bear as one of them and bubble gum for another shade i can say that it really does hydrate the lips it really does like i'm not lying to you it really does hydrate the lips okay so i love that a lot now for the next product now this was before i switched things around in 2020 i used to wear the maybelline superstay full coverage foundation and that was my shade honey or 320 i used to have the i had a liquid version i had the stick version i had the powder version i had all the shades the powder version again was too light so i had to go a shade darker but the liquid and the stick oh my gosh like that mess is so good like it actually is full coverage that was one of my first full coverage foundations that i purchased ever with my own money and it made my skin look flawless for the entire day nothing was out of place that's another foundation that i want to revisit except i don't want to revisit the one with vitamin c to see what the hype is because a lot of people are saying that it's really good so you know me i like to try things for myself to see is it really good or is it just a hype thing because some things that are for the hype is not good and some things that are not hyped up are the ones that are actually good but the superstay full coverage foundation it really is full coverage that is the best keyword that they could put in that product full coverage one more um, product that i have tried before and i have interest in um theory about this 
But one more product I've tried before is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Instant Perfector. Now, when I first tried this, I was with Influencer like years ago. And they used to have like the um, paid um, deals where if you buy the product and you do a review on it, then they would reimburse you pretty much. So I went in Ulta and I'm like, okay, I must find my shade. I found my shade. I was medium or medium tan. I don't remember. But I found my shade. It had five or six shades at the time. It was not much. It was very limited. But I feel like now they have expanded because times are changing and we are more inclusive. And so I remember when I um, purchased it, like that was the first, that was one of the first face products that was for those that don't wear a lot of makeup, one, and then two, for those who want like a radiant finish to their makeup look. And so I remember I tried it and I, I feel like I'm back then I was more into like the matte, I was a matte girl cause I just knew like at that time I had oily skin so I didn't want to bother with it, but I'm like, okay, I want to bother with it now so i was doing so i mean i wore it but thinking of it now if i were to wear it again i feel like i would enjoy it way more which that product came out around this is when i had first joined influencer i think it was around 2015 but it was like in the mid 2010s when maybelline released the instant age rewind um perfecter right and years later like a couple years a few years later charlotte tilbury comes out with the glow perfector and then elf comes out with the halo glow and then all these other brands come with the halo glow it's like i just came to a theory that maybelline was the very first like i feel like maybelline besides like other drugstore brands like elf i feel like maybelline was the first brand ever to really come out with minimalist makeup and no one else is catching on to it. I realized that Maybelline was the first brand to come up with these like natural, clean products. I wouldn't say clean, but natural products that make you look like you have no makeup. Like the first, let me sum it up and say they're the first brand to come up with minimalist makeup or makeup where you could achieve minimalist looks. And this product I'm talking about, the Instant Age Rewind Instant Perfector, that definitely was it. It did conceal it. For me, I wore like a foundation. So it covered my face. And again, back then, I wanted to go like all out like matte. Like I want to, like I really am on like a different, I don't want to say different shade, but I wanted like a different look for myself. Because I'm thinking to myself, hey, I look like this all the time. Like I want a matte. I want a full beat. Because back then it was about having a full on beat. But now, like I said before, everyone is into the natural minimal makeup look. So I feel like, again, now I would enjoy the product more than when I was younger. Okay. So out of all these products, I'm going to tell you what I recommend for the teenagers. Or even if you're not a teenager and you're watching it, here's what I recommend you buy. So definitely get you the Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. They have four shades. They have black, brown. And they have two funky colors, or three funky colors actually, so technically five. They have a, a blue, they have a burgundy, which is perfect for you if you have burgundy hair. Like, you are eating with that mascara. Like, I would want to see someone with burgundy hair wear that with the burgundy mascara. I think you look um, slayful. So they have that, and then they also have the pink. I low-key almost bought the pink but i'm thinking to myself i'm barely going to wear it so i want to buy products with a purpose so for me i purchased the black is black but then because brown mascara it looks really good and it's very natural i also purchased the brownish black in the sky high and it is amazing it does separate the lashes and make you look like you have some lashes especially if you are someone like me with short lashes again you can't see it because i'm currently wearing lash clusters I also recommend the Great Lash Mascara. So if you are a beginner and you're just getting into mascara and you're not sure if you should go with it, I would say go with the Great Lash because it has like the old school um, bristles. Almost like, um, yeah, it's not like the silicone. It's the opposite of that. It's like a brush bristle where it goes through your lashes and like you have more of that boxy feathery effect. So I do like that. Again, it's been a minute since I've had the Great Lash Mascara. I mean, it's been some years, just to say the least. 
I also recommend the Big Shot Colossal Mascara. So if you want that spiky look with your lashes, you can go ahead, apply that on, and then you have the spiky look. It also depends on your technique with the mascara too. I know I tend to just go upward, but there's other people that will wiggle their mascara wand going up and then they and then their lashes look beautiful. Of course, your girl gonna recommend the Face Studio Master Chrome Highlighter. If you are someone that you do like a full beat with like your lashes and like your liner and you want to highlight important parts of your face, Definitely do the Face Studio Master Chrome Highlighter. They have a few shades in there. I got the gold one because of my skin tone, but you can pick out whatever shade works out best for you. And I feel like you will slay it like I said before. I also recommend the Age Rewind Concealer, but with this one, because they changed the formula and they took out some shades, I would recommend you speak to someone at Ulta about it. Like go to someone at Ulta, say, hey, I want to try the Maybelline Fit Me or Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, but I'm not sure which shade will work best for under my eyes. Talk to someone about it and they will match you perfectly with it. But just note that the store lights in Ulta is very different from your lights at home. So I would recommend that you buy like two shades and even if that one doesn't work, you can bring it back at Ulta and then get a shade darker or a shade lighter depending on the issue you're having, okay? Mm, I also recommend the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder because you see around my eyes, it is matte. I mean, um, there's no oil coming out of place. Like, you're going to be matte all day, every day. I usually do this around my eyes for work. And then I'll do, like, another form of setting powder for the rest of my face. This works best for me. Like, I don't have any creasing. And even if I am creasing, it is to a minimum. It is not to a maximum. Alright, so I recommend the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I am a shade medium deep 30. I also love the Lifter Gloss. If you are someone that wants to save money and not splurge too much money, I'd recommend you get the Lifter Gloss. There are so many shades, and I'm going to tell you from now, all the shades that Maybelline made is just like Fenty Beauty. So you are not missing out on anything. If you feel like you're going to miss out on anything, I'm going to tell you from now, you are not. I also, my final recommendation is the Instant Age Rewind Instant Perfector, especially for the middle school girlies. Parents are okay with you wearing foundation. This foundation, it's not really like a foundation. It's just like a filter, like a tint. It's pretty much just like a tint, but it was the very first tint ever made by Maybelline, and I don't think anyone notices it except me. This will bring out the radiance into your skin, okay? And they have even more shades now. I believe they have 12 or 16 shades. I cannot recall off the top of my head. Because I made these notes a month ago. Because I was currently planning content for y'all. But it will give you the right natural skin tint. And it will give you the right radiant glow. Especially if you are someone with dry skin. Like your skin is going to radiate across that room. I recommend you get on that. <laughs> I recommend you um get on that. But those are products that I recommend. I again thank you for tuning into this episode of Makeup for Teens. My next episode is going to be Milani Cosmetics. Now that one's going to be fun because I do have a lot of products. I don't say a lot of products, but I have some products that I've tried in the past and some products that I truly recommend for the girlies. But again, thank you for tuning in to Makeup for Teens. This is Tay Rose. Catch you in the next one.